Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're going to solve another quiz question which is sub 3 of another 3. So basically this is another quiz question and this is literally quiz question. Okay, so it deserves like from my side. Okay, so all right. So let's just talk about what the question is. The question is saying like given the roots of two binary trees, root and sub root. Okay, so they're given just two roots of two binary trees. So let's say this root and sub root. Okay, I don't know why this is given the weird name again. Okay, written true if there is a subtree of a root with the same structure and node value the same, otherwise false for them. Okay, so where to check a subtree of a binary tree is a tree that consists of node in a tree and all the nodes. Okay, okay, these are all rubbish. All right, so let's just see what the question is saying. It's saying like we are given the subroot. Okay, so whatever the subroot is given, we have to check in our original root. We will check is the values coming same anywhere. If we found the same subroot anywhere, then we will return true for them. Okay. So let's say we found something like 412 and we I will check I will check over here. First of all, I just take it over here and then put it over here. Okay, I will just put it initially over here. I will check. Is the values the same? It will say no. The values are not same. So what I will do, I will table is child. So it's, I will table is children four and five, left and right. So i I will first of all go for the left. I will check on the left. Is the values the same? I will say yes, the values are same. So now there is no need to go on to the right because the right has the uh empty nodes. So there is no point to go over there, so we just find it over here. Okay, so this is the easy, easy question. So this is the easy one. Okay, so let's just check the another example. The another example is saying, so this one is quite interesting. Okay, so it's saying like we have root this one. Okay, we have subroot this one. Four one two. Okay, so again I will check over here. First of all, I will check over here. I will see like yeah, they are not similar. The values are not similar. So what I will do, I will check on its left. Okay, I will check yeah, the values are similar, but the two has children and null, null as well like uh what right node is null but the left node has some values okay so i will just simply return false for that because this cannot be my tree so if i go into the five i will see like five has null children's no uh, five node has uh null root left and right so i will just simply return four for that so this is simply false one okay so i hope now the question is clever the question is saying if you still don't understand don't worry uh you will definitely want to understand while I, I will do the code okay so ladies and gentlemen let's start solving the our code so let me just a little bit zoom it out okay all right so here we go so my first thing is what what i will do i will create one base condition in my base condition i will say if my root is null okay if my root is empty then simply return for you like whatever the tree you will give it will, the value will never be matched because like root is null and you're giving some value so how it can be same okay so now i will make one another another condition i will say else if I will make one magic condition. What the magic condition will do? It will help me to check its values. Okay. Uh, both on the left and the right. So I will just make one magic value. I will say is same tree. I will just call it something like is same tree. Okay. And I will say is same tree uh root. Uh what else? Root and sub root. Okay. Alright. So what what else I, I can do? I will check if I don't find the value initially on the top, then I will travel is left node and the right node so i will travel this left node and right node okay so once i'm on the left one i will uh for that one i will make one condition i will simply say return uh what you have to return you have to return some, something like is sub not capital small tree okay is sub tree what travel is root to left comma uh what else sub root okay because sub root is like the ones we are checking and or my mistake or is the tree uh t is coming small otherwise it will is compilation error i really hate compilation root to right okay what sub root i guess i hope so now the question is clear like what we are doing over here okay so ladies and gentlemen now is the time to make our magic function okay so the magic function will help us to determine whether the values we are we are putting over there is matching the same or not so it will help a lot so public boolean okay what is same tree all right okay so now what i will do i will initiate say tree no let's just call it root as well because we are just dealing with same thing over here why make it too complicated tree node sub root okay all right so now what i will do i will check on base condition over here, here as well i will say if my root is null or my sub root uh is null then what you have to do is just simply return what not false then you have to check both the things you have to check both the things if if the both one are null then it 
it it can be true okay uh, i have never tried for that one i will check if the both like if the only one is true then we will just deal over here if the one is null okay but over here we are checking for the both one so i will say a return what root is equals to null and for that you know sub root is null okay right, so i hope so thing is clear no don't worry i will explain you one more time else if as you put what you have to do over here we have to check its value i will say uh, root dot value is equals to sub root dot value okay for that i will simply return true over here no that's a mistake you will do because why because you will it will get true for this condition okay but let's say this two one has a value is itself like like this one two has is is a children as well so what will happen it will it, it will show the true as well for this one but we have to read in false for this one okay so for that one i will make one condition over here i will check i will check both is left and right conditions okay so i will say return is same three word root dot left has to be similar with sub root dot left okay uh, and else is same tree now we go for the right one same tree root dot right has to be similar with what sub root dot right uh, let me just make it more thing clear okay sub root dot right sub root dot right okay so uh let me just make it a little bit more like this okay i hope so now it is clear after it's clear okay now what i'll do i'll simply make an else condition else if they did not match if you dump it but they are not matching then simply return false for that okay false for that. okay All right so i just told you about something like uh, uh okay so let me run this code let's see any compilation error we are facing so we will solve it otherwise i will tell you the overview okay i will do that so we focus something else what we forgot okay so uh we forgot something over here else if we forgot this condition okay so let's run it now I hope so it will accept now and here we go ladies and gentlemen so it's accepting very well okay so let me just give you the overview like what i tell you okay let's say we have something like test cases both are null okay so both are null if i say both are empty so let's see whether it will uh make it true or false let's see it's saying like root 2 has one side okay so it's saying like a root has two values so i don't see the constraints okay so root uh tree is ranging from one okay okay let me make it um, but one one like it will then it will now make it true you know so yeah so i think yeah okay so anyways never mind okay so like what uh one more thing i told you like let's say if we if i don't write this thing if i don't write this thing instead of this what i do i just simply write true over here so what will happen it will pass this condition it will pass for this test case it will pass for this test case okay okay so let me just mm. but what if i go for this test this, this test case okay so what will happen for this one it will fail definitely it will gonna fail let me just show it to you so now you will understand like why i did this so now you will definitely you now i hope now you definitely understand like why i did this thing okay so and you know it's it's coming false like it's coming true but we want false now i hope you understand like why i did go like we it has to check it because you know these value this uh, children values uh, making problem for us so to handle this that's why i have to write thing like this ladies and gentlemen now let me go for this condition now it will run it now it will definitely gonna accept definitely and submit it you will see the magic over here okay so is accepting very well okay so the run time is like it, it go for 100 for me but uh, is something happen depend on the load or so okay so what the time complexity we are dealing with over here the time complexity we are dealing with is over over here is big of n into m big of n into m okay big of n into m so n is the like uh, uh, nodes in the root and m is the nodes in the sub root okay so that's why because like it's, it's checking both the time okay and the space complexity is is time complexity and the space complexity is big of minimum minimum of minimum of n comma n so it can be minimum because it depends on the like which one has the less root 
less nodes it will uh, the space composite will be of that okay so i hope so ladies and gentlemen now the question is very clear like what i'm doing so i think there's nothing that is very simple like what i did if you still don't understand i will just suggest you to watch this video again you will definitely want to understand like what i'm doing over here in this code and ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye and i love you guys believe me i love you take care bye bye